Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we have a particular interesting topic. We are going to explore how to export PDF files using Angular. This video will guide you step by step so that you can implement in your own projects. So let's get started. First of all, you need to have Node.js and NPM. NPM is Node Package Manager. You can download these from Node.js.org website. Then you need to install Angular CLI, which you can install by running the command npm install minus g Angular CLI like this. And once your CLI is installed, you need to have a code ed editor like Visual Studio Code. We will be using Visual Studio Code in this video. Great. Now we are ready to get started. So let's create a new Angular project. Open your terminal or command prompt, uh, navigate to the directory where you want to create your project and type in this command ng new pdf dash export dash app you can name it whatever you want and press enter this command will create a new angular application named pdf dash export dash app and here i will just say no i will use the scss format for the styling all right now enter the project directory by typing the cd pdf dash export dash app now i will open this project in visual studio code or you can open it in any of your editors that you are using now we need a library called pdf make which is a client or server side pdf printing tool we can easily install it by using npm. So simply run npm install dash dash save pdf make and press enter. This will install pdf make and save it in our project dependencies in the package.json. As you can see it has been installed and dependency has been added. Once installation is completed, let's import the pdf make library in our components. Let's say we are working with app dot component dot ts first you would add this import statement at the top import all as pdf make from pdf make slash build slash pdf make and then we will have pfs underscore fonts it will be pdf fonts Other than that, I am getting another error that is saying that could not find a declaration file for module this and this. So it is suggesting us to install this uh, package so that we can get rid of this error. So just if you get, are also getting same error, then just use it and install it. This will install this package, the type types for this package in the dev dependencies next we need to ensure our pdf instance is using the correct fonts so for that i will use pdf make.bfx is equal to pdf fonts.pdf make.bfs and i will get rid of this error i will use as any After this, we can create a function to generate our PDF. For example, a simple function could look like this. And here we will define a variable doc definition. And it will have an object and this object will have a property content. And in the content property, we will have an array and this array can have multiple uh, selection, multiple elements of content. Here I will just add one element of this array with a string. You can add any string here. I will add this is, uh, this is a sample PDF printed with PDF make. Okay. After that, we will use PDF make dot create pdf function so we will call this function in that function we will pass the doc definition that we just defined above and after that 
it will generate the PDF. Once PDF is generated, you can simply uh, use the function dot open. This function when called will generate a PDF with the text that we have provided here. And the open method is used to open generated PDF in the new browser tab. So now it's time to test it. So before running the application, actually let me run it first mgs minus O and meanwhile in the HTML I will create my button. Here I will add a simple button and we will call that function on click event. Now let's try. I am going to click on generate PDF and you can see that it has immediately generated the PDF and opened that PDF in a new tab that you can also download as well. And that's it. You know now how to generate and export PDF file directly from your Angular applications. This can be particularly useful for generating reports, invoices or other documents. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. And if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome content. Thanks for watching. See you next time.